I got to say, I was going to originally start with the, 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 my original question was around EHRs, uh -huh. and, uh, but I got I to go back to that healthcare.gov thing here a little yeah. bit. So just give us a little bit of background on that. What, so um, healthcare.gov is one of those things that you guys will find um, very useful uh, from a technical point of view because if you've ever seen a e major EHR rollout go bad, how many of you have seen that? That's exactly what that is, right? So it was a, it, there, was, there was way too much focus on the technology, way too much focus on uh, the um, pieces of the things that are easy to do, um, but not as much focus on where it was absolutely necessary, which was the integration. So uh, while the website is down in many cases, uh, the real problem is that there are about 25 different legacy uh, older systems that need to be connected up, things like Medicare, Medicaid systems all throughout the states and everything else, and they just weren't ready. So this was a political decision, political uh, requirement, and anytime you run a technology project using political decisions with political requirements and political dates, you have political failures. I mean, that's exactly what happened in this case. Uh, so n none of us who had been seeing this for the last six months or so uh, were surprised. In fact, I had an article a couple of days beforehand in an interview on uh, eWeek, I think it was, where I said it's just going to be beta on October 1st, and we're actually not going to know for many days how many of the integrated systems are going to fail and they've all failed one by one uh, in various capacities. Uh, but the lessons that we should learn here, I mean, it's a, it is amusing in one way, but very serious in another, is that almost all of the lessons that, uh, uh, that we can learn are directly applicable to hospital IT systems. And uh, so in fact, I'll probably have an article coming out in a couple of weeks on Huffington Post but that talks about where the failures were, not from, a, not from a political point of view, but what were the technical failures that occurred because of the politics, and how do we, from the hospital side, from large federal systems in the future, prevent that? Because they're all preventable yeah. in the future.